Stanton. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. All for the Tottenham Lightweight Championship. Fight fans, it's about to go down. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of seven wins and three losses. Fighting out of Jim 515 Longview, Texas. He is Brad Moore. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of three wins and one loss. Fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Shane the White. This is the main event here at Mayhem and Mesquite 9. Gorgeous George here along with the ghost from MMA Junkie Radio and UFC veteran and multiple weight class champion over at Tachi Palace, Ulysses Gomez. Grant Moore fighting out of Texas, 7-3 overall. He's got black and purple trunks with red trim. Shane Shapiro, white tights, black trim. Big right hand delivered by Moore. Shapiro answers the leg and take down. Beautiful single leg, straight to the pass. He's in a double mount. Oh, oh. Already getting a stop of action. Oh, nutshell. From Mark Smith. Looks like uh, somebody went downstairs. Yeah, it looks like on the way down. Uh, Shane rocking the cup uh, two sizes too big. <laughs> You see Shapiro come out with the extreme couture guys, but like you see Scott said, he does have ties to Cobra Kai to get to sit and go in his corner well, as well. Watch Shane. So Shane's a sing uh, uh, he's the southpaw, so he's gonna hit that single leg a lot, straight to the side control. He does that very well in the gym. He uses that jab to that single leg. They get an extra minute here for the title fights. Three three minute rounds. Shapiro with the takedown. The crowd pops. The next Shapiro is looking to get the side control, maybe even a mount. Back to Half guard, Brand Moore on the bottom. You yep. can tell those strikes were just to set up that takedown. That's yeah. Wanted. This is where he wants to All be. day, all day in the gym. For me here, he's gonna uh, he's gonna start a tripod on his left leg and slide that right knee straight to the mount or side control to the left side. Explain the the tripod to the audience. So tripod basically is just a cam for you on your two legs and your post on your head. Gotcha. Well, Brand Moore now looking to take some heroes back, and he does. All along with a vicious slam. However, Shapiro takes advantage of it. I thought he was, and I thought he was going to maybe sweep to uh, top position, maybe take Grant Moore's back. But Grant Moore is now the guy that's the aggressor, and he's the one that's looking to secure a hook, although he doesn't get it, and both guys back to their feet. Yeah, good scramble by both guys. Shane, there you go. Nice way to, to face him. And we're back at a reset with 45 seconds to go here. Round one of this title fight here at Top Up Amateur Fighting Championship. The future stars of MMA. Gorgeous George with the ghost hit from MMA Jumping Radio. Yoshi Gomez also in the booth. Grant Moore, purple and black trunks. Red trim. Shane Shapiro, white tights, black trim. Moore seems Close like he's person. waking up a little bit here. A little bit more. A little more agility now. He's bouncing a little bit more. Shapiro looks like he knows what he wants. Grant Moore gets a nice, nice right now. Shapiro comes back with a leg kick of his own. He's got three-minute rounds as well because they're from the title fight. Yep. I like Shapiro's attack. Mm -hmm. He's he going makes upstairs, it up very well. going downstairs, mix it up with takedowns. Nice up single, single leg again. There he goes, takes the double leg. Well, they have won the round for him because yeah. Moore had made up the ground with a couple strikes and also attacking over here on our left-hand side. He almost took it back. He just, he's got to be careful to get the swept right here, though. Nice pass to side control, almost to the mount. Nice mount, there we go. Now he's going to start a, a posture up and start uh, striking. Referee Mark Smith. Back to half guard. Asking both fighters to go to work. Ten seconds to go here in round one of this title fight. This main event here at Mayhem and the Steve Nine. Nice. 
Quasi third, a two quarter to guard. Well, if you had your, uh, your gaming ticket for the fight to end in the first round, you might as well tear that bad boy up. They're going into the second. Yeah, I think that was a clear Shapiro round. Uh, it looks like right now, boys, maybe can play eight that shot early on. But he's got more of a puzzle to solve. He's more of a, a real grim to solve. And Shapiro, Shapiro looked like he was able to do pretty much everything he wanted to. Once again, a big thank to all of our sponsors, Classic Blanca, Resort Casino Golf and Spa, Juan Nevada Credit Union, Metro PCS, Hayabusa, Glenn Lerner Injury Attorneys, The Neck and Back Clinics, Las Vegas Lighting, Sobo Westex Design, Manufacturing, Distribution, Terrible Hurst, The Best Bad Guy in the West, Casa Mexico Tequila, I've had it, it's good, go get it. Nevada Coin Mart and Fit Supplements. We built champions. Terrible Hurst. That little beat throws me off. All right, inside the cage, we have the doctor checking on Grant Moore. I'm not sure what he's checking for. He's asking him to uh, read how many fingers he has. And being that he passes that, we should have a second round here. Oh. Look for Shane to hit that uh, single leg again. Here we go. Both guys flying with their jabs. Oh, nice nice high kick. There's that single leg again. Shapiro, but Shapiro reacts and gets the takedown. Single leg straight to side control. Sorry, Ulysses, go ahead. No, single leg straight to side control. Moore's doing a good job getting back to the fence. Yeah, back to the feet nice hits that he had there. Yeah, we figured it out by now. Shapiro wants his fight on the ground, but yeah, wants to keep standing. Got a single leg as well. All day. That's he does that all day in the gym. He's got to be, well, like, four, four on takedowns. He's good. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah. Another thing that helps him out with that is because he's a southpaw, so anytime he, he slips um, a more jab, he throws that straight left, uh, straight to the uh, single leg. His head's already in position. He takes him down right away. From here, he's going to push that knee down. Looks like he can go straight to mount. Referee Mark Smith warning both guys to get active. More towards the guy on top, obviously. In this case, Shane Shapiro. Shane looking to free up his left leg. Maybe get him out position. He's almost got it. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to go for a three-quarters amount, but uh, Moore's doing a good job getting back to his knees. Shane However, he's giving up his neck in the process. Right. And that, that submission is clear now. Shane's still trying to fight for that, fight for that three-quarters amount from the half guard. Almost halfway to go here in round two of this title fight. James Shapiro versus Brant Moore. Now he's going to threaten that Kimura to get the, his leg free for that second, for that amount. For more information on Tough Enough, go to toughenough.com. We also have a Facebook page and a Twitter page at Tough Enough. So Shane, to the yep, Shane from the past straight to the side control. Spin around, almost took his back. For now, a does he have a submission of choice? What does he like to lock down? From this, from this position, he'll either get the far arm bar and wait for you to turn into him and take your back and get you. It looks like he's got a powerful upper body and arms, so I would imagine so he wouldn't mind ripping his arm off, right? Yeah, no, he's pretty strong. Nice to mount from here. It looks like he's going to try and go from this position as well. Now he's better hurry up because there's 50 seconds left here in the style fight. There's some ground and ground. Nice. Oh, there you go. Oh, takes his back, gets the, the back. hook in. Is he underneath? He's yeah, setting it up. He's good. He's, he's punching him. Moore's not defending stop himself. It. They're going to stop him pretty soon right now. Yeah, they're going to stop him in a couple seconds. The referee Mark Smith giving plenty of warnings. The crowd senses it. Uh-oh. Right, we have a finish. Shane with the RNC. And he's tapping. Got a new Shane champion. Shapiro is now your new champion here at Tough Enough in the lightweight division as he submits Brad Moore in the third round. Talk about a ninth inning. Home run. Second round, sorry. Well, you know what? I'm very impressed with Shapiro. I mean, really, when you look at it, he's able to do everything he wanted to do in the fight. But he never lacked explosive. It seemed like his endurance was his top notch. I think we could see him here for a while, rating at the top. Well, Shapiro goes to 4 and 1. That's one hell of a record. Grant Morrow dropped to 7 and 4. But great action here. It's a tough enough case. This is tough enough amateur fighting championship. The future stars of MMA. 
Thank you, Barry Meyer, for creating Pumpkin Art. Some of my best nights here in eight years of living in Las Vegas have been these uh, monthly Tuffin Up shows. And yet we have another great one in the books. Joe's, I believe you can call sign for that one. Yeah, who, who created the Thunder from Down Under? That would be the other one. That would be number two. Right? Yeah, that Tuffin Up is incredible. We're going to set it up to Justin Bernard for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 33 seconds into the second round, your winner by tap out to the rear naked show. Shapiro retains his belt here at Tough Enough as he saves off a valiant effort from Brant Moore. Nice second round submission by Shane Shapiro, Ulysses Gomez, teammate. Glowing here, Cage Tiger. Right proud of the uh, young Yeah, he's good, man. It's like the Olympics. You talk to your right after you just throw like an orange of meter. <laughs> With the winner, Shane Shapiro. We all know your jiu-jitsu game is second to none. It's show tonight. How great does it feel to win tonight? Oh, it's unbelievable, man. I think it was a, this was a long time coming, man. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, me and my brother Jerry are the only uh, two brothers are tough enough to hold the title, so that's a pretty cool accomplishment, man. That's the first. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good, man. I want to thank uh, my corner, Simbo, Jerry, Venice, Cobra Kai Jiu-Jitsu, and Street Couture. Um, all my sponsors, you know, Superior Nutrition, Ten Brains, Lucky B, Beneath the Surface Tattoos, and, uh, um, Prototype, my boxing coach, Darren Keithy, man, he's one of the best, man, so, uh, my family, everyone who came out, thank you, guys, man, I really appreciate it. Well, you definitely one of our future stars of better, man, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, Shane White, Oak Shapiro! Another one in the books, folks. Mayhem in the Ski Nine. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all so much Bring for coming the out to Mayhem in the Ski Nine right here at the Castle Black. And don't forget the official after party inside the showroom. Go hang out with us and all your favorite fighters. Thank you to the ISKN, Castle Black, Phyllisy, JTV, DJ Number One. Take us out. Folks at home, we will see you soon at the next Top and Up event. For my broadcast partner, Goes, and Ulysses Gomez, gorgeous George. Hopefully, you enjoyed tonight's action. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your evening.